the Chris and Eddie show where I take edibles and do a show. I've never done that. Ed- I've done edibles three times. One time at the Islanders game where I almost died. And the last two times at patreon.com slash Christy comedy. So and you're also doing them with Chaz. Oh yes. We will be doing the Chris and Eddie show with Chaz Palminteri. Chaz Palminteri is about to come. Chaz Palminteri, Sonny from a Bronx tale is coming to stay in my house for 10 days. Uh, and it's going to be crazy. And speaking of crazy Chaz Palminteri stuff, Homeless Pimp, a.k.a. Corduroy Boy, he saved Chaz Palminteri's life. No, 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 I'm not kidding with you. He genuinely saved Chaz Palminteri's life. Last week, Chaz was choking on a chicken sandwich, like which is Goomba thing to do, (laughs) just choking on a chicken parm. Chaz was choking on a chicken parm sandwich. (laughs) Nobody else was in the house besides Chaz and the Homeless Pimp because Homeless Pimp runs Chaz Palminteri's podcast, The Chaz Palminteri Show. Go check that out. Um, He is choking on the sandwich to the point where Chaz stopped breathing and Homeless Pimp gave Chaz Palminteri the Heimlich maneuver and Chaz spit out a piece of chicken parm and then minutes later interviewed Billy Joel on Zoom and didn't mention that he almost died on the Zoom. So when you watch the Billy Joel Chaz Palminteri interview, just know that moments before that, Pimp had his freaking Queen's French fry grease fingers on his sternum and 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 got a piece of food dislodged from his throat. But it was hilarious because Chaz was like, you stood up with such confidence. I believed in you. And then once you started flailing on me, I thought I was going to die. Well, let me ask you this, Pimp. What, what, ch- seriously, take us through it. You're sitting down eating a sandwich. He's he- eating his sandwich. What happens? We just interviewed like five different celebrities. And then he just got really quiet, like oddly quiet for Chaz. Right. And then all of a sudden started like kind of punching me in my shoulder. And I looked up and he's choked, like he's dying. Like he was like, he was like. He was like getting my attention like, hey. I can't get it out. Yeah. And like not making a sound. And then I just started thrusting on him. And I've never done the Heimlich, so I just took a shot in the dark. And so what did you do? Did you go like I above his belly button? Like, like I know everyone gets their ribs broken doing it. So I'm like, it must be throwing weight against the ribs. So, so you got up behind him. And I just started kind of like half humping him. Right. And then all of a sudden, like he could whisper talk, but he was still gagging. And he's like, you're terrible at this. Go find my wife. Wow. <laughs> so he so so did his wife so who's the one who actually dislodged the food so then though? his wife came in, she tried and she couldn't do it, and then I tried again and then he kinda of just threw up in the sink. Oh he threw up. Like he got it he got it out. Was she really nervous or she was kind of being well, playful even about his it? Kids ran in. Everyone was like, Holy shit. Like my dad's gonna die right Everyone's now. Everyone's freaking out. Yeah, man, he's choking. Now if he would have actually died, what would have been your first move? Oh, man, that crime scene would not go good for me. <laughs> <laughs> like, 